to see everyone today. Uh, give you, uh, as we always do on Wednesdays, kind of a status update of our football team right now. Out for this game, we have Marcus Tatum, uh, Brett Kendrick, and Josh Smith. We list as questionable right now for the game is Brett Sinaglia, Dylan Bates, and Drew Richmond. I'm not going to comment any further in terms of any private medical information today, just in terms of just a status update. So I'll answer any questions you want me to have. Butch, obviously with everything that's out there, did you or anyone on your staff know when you play an injured player in the football game Saturday night? Yes, well, John Curry issued a statement uh, earlier today. And I'll tell you this, is we would never knowingly put a student athlete in harm's way. Our medical staff has full authority on removing players from competition, but also have the authority to return players to competition. I have absolutely no say in these decisions. Uh, the Southeastern Conference has also been very proactive in terms of uh, having an independent medical observer in the press box that looks for these issues. And also the officiating crew also has full authority uh, to be able to remove an individual from competition if they see that. To follow up on that, but was the SEC contacted, was, was the person at the game contacted to see if he noticed anything? I, I don't know. That's, again, up to our medical people and our athletic department. Yeah. So nobody contacted anybody else at the SEC had somebody up there. Nobody contacted you or did anyone ever contact you to tell you what anything was going on? Again, everything goes through our medical staff. I have no say in those decisions, but uh, right now I believe nobody had contacted me. Right, when he did leave the game in the last minute, did he take himself out of the game? How, what, what are the circumstances that caused him to leave the game for his last few plays? And can you confirm this that was an Again, I'm just going to refer back to the statement of John Curry and what I've said previously. <laughs> But procedurally, how does that work, and how does the communication with the SEC observers make its way to the coaching staff and eventually make its way to you in the event that that would happen? The medical observer will buzz the official down in the field, and then they will move the player from competition. Again, the coach has no direct communication uh, with any anything like that. Let's just one more thing on the stuff that's out there. How much education, what, what do you guys do from an educational standpoint to the player to, to make them understand various symptoms throughout a game, for, for, for them to know what they're going through. How, how do you guys go about that, maybe in the offseason? Our training staff is always in dialogue with our players. You know, they're around them, uh, you know, throughout the entire course of the day, on the practice field, game day. Uh, you know, we talk about it, they'll come up, they'll give a presentation during training camp as well. Uh, but it's constant dialogue, but it, it's sometimes, like I said, it's, it's in individual settings, it's in the training room, so it's constantly discussed. And it's, it's a great topic. And I'm a father of three, I understand. My sons play football or do play football, and I understand that. And we take this matter very seriously.